Second and goal. Howell looking. Takes off. Howell spins, stays on his feet. Kept out by McKinney. And then he, let's see, he crossed the plane. There is a flag. There is a fight. It appeared as if one of the officials ruled touchdown. McKinney with the big hit to keep him out initially. Now at the end, there's Curtis Samuel, Charles Leno, and there's everybody really getting into it. And there's Cordell Flott. His helmet almost gets taken off. Him and Curtis Samuel still going at it. Now Curtis Samuel's helmet was taken off, and looks like that's who they're calling the personal fouls on. Cordell Flott, his helmet is off to the right of the screen. The officials smartly get in between both of them so they can stop. Take a look at number four and number 28. Watch how they go after each other. When it's all said and done, they're gonna get thrown out. Curtis Samuel, Cordell Flott, they're going after it. Now all of a sudden you see punch thrown by Cordell Flott, and then you see helmets getting taken off both by Curtis Samuel and Flott. With A.J. Brown, Devontae Smith, and then Goddard, and Julio Jones is a guy who's going to get some opportunities tonight also. Hurts on a quarterback draw. He's got the first down and then wisely just goes head first to the 41. So you got Hurts who comes up and he sees something because this this was, you see Kelsey, he's shaking him off. A lot of what happens, Kelsey handles a lot at the line of scrimmage and Hurts does have the ability to override Kelsey as you would expect as any quarterback might, but Kelsey shook it off. They have the quarterback draw and it's a nice pickup. Here you go, take a look at that last play, and you see that Kelsey's shaking him off. He doesn't want to get redirected, and then he says, hey, we're going <laughs> we're going to go to the left. First half, and the way that Kansas City was able to run the football, they've tightened things up a little bit more here in this second half. Done a pretty good job. See Mahomes playing peacemaker after that play. Good protection aired out. Valdez Scantling dropped it. Times did he tell us when we visited with him? I don't care how it looks. Personal foul, unnecessary roughness from 97 defense. So this is the play being. I saw Ed Oliver there. That's the one I was talking about with Glazer, but you can't go in. Right there, that's where you're gonna, they're gonna get you. That's a silly play, that's just emotional. I really like that pickup. There's a play action, and the run after him. Wilson, almost intercepted. This is a bootleg, okay, so the first one, Jim, they're both play actions, but the first one's play action in the pocket. Second and 13, looks left, throws right. Oh, what a pass, and it's Diggs. Holds the ball outside. Oh, tucks it under. And look at this. Oh, we're going to have some players run onto the field right now after this. Wow. Personal foul. Unnecessary roughness. Number one of the defense. You know, you go against, the, there's the game within the game, right? And the game is like these two are out there the whole time, whether the ball comes to them or not. It's a release. Your hands are in my face. You do this. You're holding a little bit. You're not. Go to him again. Powers up ahead for five or six. Oh, Dawkins. Oh, wow. Oh, wait a minute now. Look at Dawkins. Laid out on the ground. Like he's hurt. This Clemens hit him. Wow, this was frustration by Clemens, but a little Dawkins bit of acting is there calling. He was. Look at it. Yeah, yeah, look at this. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> right over here. They call him for unnecessary roughness. After he jumped on the back of Clemens, Clemens retaliated. The best teams you see a good stop by the Jets. But you know the best teams. Oh gosh, getting chippy out here. Oh, Diggs comes uh, back for a little more. Don't do that. Diggs. You're the little guy, Diggs. No one to say when.
Charbonnet. At the five. Now back in week one, Seattle was held to 180 yards of offense. Stafford throwing on first down to Trammell. And Trammell cannot get away from Witherspoon. But did he do too much? No flag. The Rams fans want a flag. They're not going to get one. He picks up. Oh, that was a little too much. Now a flag has come out. Yeah. Third and 11. Lock. Deep for Lockett. After the play, illegal demonstration on the intercepting team. Goes and flosses in front of Seahawks defensive sideline, actually to Geno Smith. Ten yards of carry for Herbert today. Six rushes, 62 yards. Oh, and Herbert really frustrated. You see Justin, he's trying to get that ball snap. He's screaming at him to look back. Barely carried the ball in his career, ended up carrying it eight times. I couldn't fucking see! Braxton Jones, he's getting pulled. And now Larry Borum, who had started those six games with Jones out, is back in. Boy, Braxton Jones looks very frustrated. Seems like he just got pulled out of the game, much to his dismay. You see his teammates trying to say, hey, come on, man, stay engaged. Second down three, Jacobs. With a block in there by Hooper, the other tight end. And the grinding run to the 34. Shoving after the play. The quarterback is O'Connell. Heavily pressured. Uncatchable. Looking for Tucker. It's incomplete. As Chubb and Eliminor have some words. Second and ten. You see Burrow again trying to communicate to yeah. everybody on the same page. He's got to be extremely frustrated. They're trying to get on the same page. Jamar Chase on the right. Burrow's trying to, no, you stay. No, 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 no. Okay, Tanner Hudson, you come over here. Let's get Jackson over there. Burrow said to heck with it. Second and three. On the outside, they go to Flowers again. There goes the rookie. Flowers with a block for Mitchell. But you got a flag down. There's a flag down. So for the moment, he's into the end zone. Run pass option where you have linemen. Holy. Potentially down deep. This is going to be a hold on OBJ. Crowd reacting to what OBJ does to Aruze here. The player that committed the foul was number three. Number three. And he grabs onto that jersey to pin that black. That, that's that's a very yeah that's a very questionable if at all. Very. Of course, the crowd sees the replay. Meanwhile, there's a lot. Whoa! Here's Burrow shaking his head. After trying to throw on the sideline, you can tell there's a problem. This is an official timeout for an administrative issue. It was a drone inside the stadium, so they have stopped play. But there you go. Delay game often. Like a Dobbs, who knows with Browning, other guys. Meanwhile, you got Zach Taylor going crazy here. Back to the 20 is Brandon Powell. Chased on the punt by Dixon and return. Over the 30, looking for a flag on that Minnesota sideline. And the Vikings folks will just wave their arms and yell about it. Going for it on fourth down. Pick it. They're trying to push him there. And now it just comes down to the spot. Taki Taki down. and Newsom there to bring him down. It is ruled a first down. <laughs> What's coming? Prescott senses, steps up, runs, not going to get there. He's taken down. Cowboys want to fly, they're going to get it. Amari Barno delivered the hit as Prescott was giving himself up. Carolina has had the Cowboys stopped on third down, and that's letter of the law. You just can't do that. Unnecessary roughness. Defense, number 96. Penalty is, of course, half the distance to the goal. First down. Watch. He's just walking up on the pile, and Kevontae Turpin's not doing anything. He's just getting ready to say, hey, CD, let me help you off the ground. Run the field goal team out, and you just shove him in the back. The answer is no. Go pistol here in a play fake. This time he's got some time to throw. Let's it rip, and it's high. He had Thielen. He just didn't hit him. 
And you see Adam Thielen, he's, he's claiming that he was held. Let's take a look, he's working on Deron Bland, a little sail route. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, he's got his right hand. I don't know. It looked to me like he ran through it pretty well. I just think, frankly, that's a ball that Bryce Young needs to set his feet, take out one of those ball pats, and get that ball out of his hand a half count earlier. And obviously the referee saw it differently, and they get a fresh set of downs. Yeah, see Adam Thielen pleading his case. Cowboys dominating here in Carolina, and a young Panthers fan can't watch. Uh, maybe I'll check the score real quick. Eighth career rushing touchdown for Lawrence, his first this season. Pushing and shoving after that play. Looked like Ross Matisic, their long snapper, was right in the thick of things for Jacksonville. His teammates quickly come to his defense. I have full confidence, like I I've told you, and like I've told you from the beginning, I have full confidence in our way of playing. Full confidence in myself as the play caller, in the way that we teach, in the way that we scheme. We got to bring this group together and do it consistently, okay? And that's where it's at. So you can stop asking that question, okay? I'm going to be calling the defenses, okay? So we're clear. So you don't have to ask that again. I think your fan base would hear full confidence, right, in, in everything mm -hmm. that you're doing. They see the product on the field and they would, they would see a disconnect there. So I'm not here to talk to, to the fan base. I'm here to talk to my players, the locker room. I know that we give ourselves a chance to win every single week with the game plans that we have. You guys act like we've never played good defense. That's not the truth. That's not the truth. You act like we haven't made any improvements. Today in the run game, we played outstanding. We're rushing the quarterback well. What we got to do a better job of is in the passing game. There were a lot of other things that caused us to lose today. It certainly wasn't our defense. Okay? We did this as a team. Stop making it about one unit because that's not what happened out there today. Our team lost, and I am fully responsible for it, and I take full responsibility. But we lost as a team today, and that's the storyline.